Darcy's Take a Girl Child to Work aims not only to empower, but also to develop the young minds of girls. Girls not just in South Africa, but girls all around the world. The core foundation of the program includes education, equality, and access to services such as puberty and sexual health. Today's event aims not only to develop and empower, but also to provide solutions to problems that girls are faced with on a daily basis. Sitting with me now, I've got Suzette, who's the Managing Executive at Celsi CSI. Suzette, please kindly tell us, what is the importance of Take a Girl Child to Work Day? I think Celsi Take a Girl Child to Work Day is one day a year when we highlight again the importance of young women, school girls um, going into the workplace and it allows girls to, to dream big, you know, it opens up a world of knowledge and a world um, that normally young girls are not exposed to. I think the corporate environment or any career is a very big decision for every young girl to make and on a day like today we highlight um, opportunities that are out there for young women. I'm going to ask you a question that you know a lot of people have been asking me on my social media. Why aren't there any boys? Why, why did you specifically focus on girls? I think this campaign for the last 16 years have stood for girls, but it certainly is not about excluding boys. It's really just about balancing the, the gender equality issues we have, not just in South Africa, but in Africa and the rest of the world. We would encourage all corporates to offer the same opportunities for, for all genders. But I just think as, as a company we need to stand for something and we have stood for something. Uh, Take a Girl Child to Work Day has become an incredible movement. But it doesn't mean that in the future we would not be open to including boys as well. Right. And of course you guys just started a new hashtag which is more than a day. What is that all about? I think apart from the big question we get every year about what about the boys, the other question is, um, is one day a year really enough? I, th I think one, year, one day a year is fantastic because it does highlight the cause, but from a CELSI perspective this year we are growing the program uh, into four days a year. We are exp expanding on our bursary program for girls and our internship program for girls and our call is just to for corporate South Africa and for government to do more, you know, uh, make it a meaningful, more sustainable program instead of just hosting a group of girls once a year in your workplace. Really look into yourselves and see what extra funds and resources you can make available to grow this into a true, meaningful program. But I must be honest with them, it will not be easy. As women leaders, the road we travel leading these institutions is long, bumpy, thorny, and has many twists and turns. There is this character called Big Brother Patriarchy. He will watch over you as a woman leader and never miss an opportunity to remind the whole world of your faults while turning a blind eye to your achievements. You are one of the girls that attended the Take a Girl Child to Work. What does this campaign mean to you? Um, the campaign like means a lot because um, it has given us how the workplace forum is. We have gained a lot of knowledge, so now we can go back to our communities and like teach them what we have been taught and have like a foundation of experience of how the workplace is and what we should expect next year. Serena, you are in the top 12 for Miss South Africa. Congratulations. How does that feel for you? Hi Lele, oh, I'm so excited, I'm so happy beyond words, it's something I've always dreamed of and I'm extremely happy to be here. Of course we are at Take a Girl Child to Work today and I just want to find out what do you think this campaign will do for young girls? I think that this campaign definitely motivates and empowers and inspires girls to definitely go for their dreams, especially in the corporate world and the patriarchal society we live in. It shows that women are no less than men. We are all equal and we are capable of doing what they're doing. And I feel like all the powerful women that came through today were definitely motivating and inspiring. Aguile, of course, you are one of the top 12 finalists for Miss South Africa. What does Take a Girl Child mean to you? Um, I absolutely love this initiative. It ties really close to what's close to my heart. I come from a township and I know how to be given a platform can really play a huge role in a young girl's life. 
I love how it creates opportunity for young girls to tell them that they're not limited by their surroundings, they're not limited by their backgrounds to chase their dreams. And all the women that spoke today were really inspirational and living examples of how you can chase what you want and how it is possible. Stephanie, please kindly tell us what more can we expect from Salsi and Sun International and the Top 12 before the big day, which is the 27th. Uh, so we, we're here today at the launch of uh, our Salsi Take a Girl Child to Work Day uh, event and that's happening on the 24th of May the big day so the girls will be involved in that um, coming up the uh, the girls are in Joburg for a little while they leave on Saturday and they go back home um, from there they come back and they're going to judging um, and we will announce the judges at a later stage but there's some very exciting judges um, and being the 60th year of the pageant uh, I think our most exciting thing that we have going on is that we have around 45 former South Africans coming to join us uh, at Times Square um, for the celebration of the pageant and there will be a beautiful event that we will uh, host all of them the, the former Miss South Africa's at including our current Miss Universe Demi Lee as well as former Miss World uh, Rolene Strauss and three of our other international winners which include Margaret Gardner who was Miss Universe in 1978 Penny Coolen who was Miss World in 1958 and long, yeah long, it's a long list ago. and and then um, Annalene Creel who was uh, Miss, Uni Miss World in 1978 so it's going to be a very exciting and I think joyous occasion for uh, I think a lot of the, the girls um, especially the top 12 I think to meet a lot of their icons will be really exciting and really you know this is the this is hard work for them at the moment they are really wanting to kind of you know um, get their work done and, and make uh, make their make their standpoint in, in, in the competition <laughs> Millions of girls have been taken to school through this initiative, while many more have been influenced. From myself, Usletio Wagandovu and Jobik TV, it's been an absolute delight. <laughs>